A hail of bullets in the Holy Land, leaving eight injured, including five Americans, after a Palestinian gunman opened fire on a bus. I saw a few people lying on the floor in critical condition. We also had a baby that we took out of harm's way. According to Israeli media, four of the five injured Americans came from the same New York family. New Yorker Menachem Palace was visiting Israel on birthright. He spoke to Channel I-24. I heard a gunshot, and uh, I looked, and I saw the window, like, shattered. So I quickly ducked, and I saw I had, um, uh, like, blood everywhere over here. Among the injured, a pregnant woman shot in the stomach, according to hospital staff. After an emergency C-section, her baby remains in serious condition. The bus was parked near Jerusalem's western wall, waiting to carry pilgrims back from prayers. Israeli police on a manhunt for the gunman in Jerusalem's old city. Hours later, the shooter turned himself in. One of his relatives has also been arrested. Today's shooting comes just a week after the Israelis and Palestinians agreed to a ceasefire. A temporary truce after Israel pounded the Gaza Strip with missiles last weekend. The Palestinian Islamic Jihad group responded with over a thousand rockets. 47 Palestinians were killed in three days of fighting. No Israelis were killed or seriously injured. Today, the leader of Hamas, a Palestinian militant group, praised the bus shooting. Today, this operation confirms that the Palestinian people continue on the path of resistance, he said. An act of terror that has both sides promising more punishment. Matt Bradley, NBC News.